Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, my dick supposed to Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I do have them. And we're playing Madden 19, why'd you kill his daddy? <laughs> why did you kill his daddy? Uh, we're playing that relocated Toronto Mounties mm. franchise. As always, we're playing offense only. Simmon that D. Simmed up that D. And we're using that balanced playbook. News alert. News alert. Saquon Barkley's <laughs> hurt. <laughs> uh, five weeks. We're going to be without our beast. There's our hooker. Our beast, dude. He was like, you even called him easy mode. He was so good. Yeah. Right there, him. He already had 1,500 yards in... How many games do we play? Nine. Yeah, so Lucille. That was ridiculous. Lucille is out of the game. Ugh. So, we have Balage. He was quick. I mean, that's what we did. <laughs> he had the quickness, so I guess we're just going to have to roll with the backup for a while. Five games worth. That'll put us... Uh, four... That'll give us 14 games, so we'll be pretty close to the end of the season. But we'll have him back for the play... Ooh, we're in the pretty... Oh, uniforms. I love them! Dude, you know I love these uniforms. I do. I love them too. Balage. See if Balage has uh, what it takes to be an all-star. Mayor Mike Bellagio. That's what I think of every time I hear it. Oh my God, this is a beautiful. Oh shit! Shield. I, I did a little bit too much. Of a Why are we both wearing blue tops? <laughs> Come on, bro! Like for real, <laughs> Jonas. Don't don't be mad at it. It's beautiful. This is we're we're at home right now, right? Uh, we we are at home, yes. Because of, look, I love the way that the Canadian fucking field looks. It it's always nice, dude. It does it looks really good. It's in a dome, I believe. Um, I accidentally domed your son. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Goldie. <laughs> I didn't mean to dome him, but he got domed. It was accidental, dude. That's why we we didn't say we purposefully domed your son. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, that would be murdered. I murdered your son is what he would say. <laughs> yeah, my fault. He can get a new dome. <laughs> can he? Yeah, Where's he, the dome store? Get a dome transplant. Oh, I'm a big fan of dome transplant. Jonas, if you could cryogenically freeze your head and, like, be alive later. Like it's Krang from Mutant Ninja Turtles? And I mean, <laughs> now that you say it like that, it sounds like the most awesome thing ever. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, no. Being a giant monster, I live in his belly? No, like Walt Disney, you know? Oh, like they like somebody. If I wish I was like important enough that people wanted to do that thing. I mean, look, Jonas, <laughs> we got the crazy town here, man. Oh, Bellagio. Yeah, I mean, if that's not important enough. If that's not important enough, I don't know what is. Nothing. But yeah, would you, would you do that? Would you want to come back from the dead? I don't know. Am I happy at the moment that I die? Are you happy in the moment that you yeah, die? Like, I don't imagine. I, I guess don't know. it depends on how happy I am. If I'm miserable, then why the fuck do I want to be frozen to come back and be miserable? Huh. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I hate life and I die and I'm like, no, dog, just bring me back when I'm. All right. All right. All right. Well, fuck you then. Fine. <laughs> I got another. I got another right question. Right now in my life, I am happy and I would uh, be happy to do that. Yes. Yeah. I would be happy to not die today, too. Fuck you. All right. Fine. Fuck it, Jonas. New question. All right. <laughs> three sure. wishes. You got three wishes. Okay. Boom. You rub. You fucking rub the shit out of the lamp. Am I You're did I erotically rub it so he's on my good side? Absolutely, okay. Jonas. In fact, he doesn't come out in a puff of smoke. He comes out in a, <laughs> <laughs> a splash of white goo, and he's like, hey, he's like, hey, you got three wishes. Do I have stipulations? Are they trick? Like, okay, first off, is there None any of that any bullshit wishing for more wishes. Okay. And is this like is this like the trickster guy who like when you say I wish I had all the money in the world he like drops it on top of you and kills you because he like no nah, jumps legit wishes and if you're clever enough you know I'm I'm not gonna fault you on that you're I'm not gonna like you're not gonna you're not gonna twist my words to kill me or something none of that bull no none like of that like Wishmaster the horror movie no you don't need to be a Harvard law grad to fucking make these wishes <laughs> well, man I wish I mean I would almost have to wish for infinite money. Infinite money of some way. How like would you? infinite, whatever, gold bars, whatever. I don't what? care. I don't want fucking. You die. Infinite money. 
Like, Legend. like I want money to be of no object ever again. All right. So how do you how do you plan on getting this money Where from you, the genie? You just want him to just a whole bunch of cash right in front of you. Is that what you want? Infinite cash just right there hanging out in my bank account. I have, I have a you debit want... card with infinite cash. So you do realize that there's the law involved here. Now, I, I did say you don't have to be a Harvard grad, Jonas, but come on. I'm confused, dude. I'm like, just saying it's like this isn't a fantasy world. This is real life, man. You have you're getting imaginary wishes is as fantasy as you can fucking get, bro. I'm sorry that I. Oh, I want all the money in the world, dude. Come on, you're being unrealistic. <laughs> all right. Well, let me add a twist to it. Okay, Jonas. good. This twist. Right, here we go. If I've always, I've always thought that having infinite money, of course, you gotta have that if that's gonna be one of your witches. So we we coincide there. Yeah. I would like to have a magical wallet that whenever I wanted, I could pull a hundred dollars out of that wallet. What if you want to pull, what if you want to pull like a ten thousand dollars? You're like one, two, three, four. Come on, baby, say you love me five. Six, Are you gonna be seven. mad at that though? <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> okay then. So is that how we're getting it? We got to have a magical wallet? I want a magical wallet that I can just pull out $100. And trust me, I would just sit there t -t 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 for days. <laughs> just <laughs> just, just for, fill up your living room. Yeah, for days. I'd Playing 52 card pickup with hundreds exactly. at your wallet. And I mean, I'm doing it fast. So I'm getting like $50 a minute at least. Okay. All right. So. Or fifty hundred dollar bills a minute. I, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Five thousand dollars a minute. You no? probably could do. You could probably do that. Yeah. All right. So like, yeah, the infinite money thing. I mean, okay. obviously, like, if you get any any wish, like, if you had to never worry about money and could just do whatever you wanted, you could start whatever business you wanted. You could, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with infinite money. All right. So first wish handled, and I've always figured that it's small bills. And in this world, you can just keep the cash in your room. You don't even have to worry about a bank account. You could put it into the, a bank account, and nobody ever has to know you even found a genie. The IRS isn't going to look into it. You're well, if you have infinite, you can just pay them all the money, too. <laughs> that was a good you point. have to pay infinite tax on infinite money, but you just hand them money. All right. Next wish, Jones. What's number two, though? I would two. like to have a... Larger penis. All right. Me, too. <laughs> Next wish. Aw. <laughs> what? You stole my wish. No. Um... <laughs> I let's see. You go first for wish two, motherfucker. I did the first one. I go to yeah. Go I did yeah. I did the first wish. You agreed. You do a wish, and then I'll do my second wish. Oh, Jones, I want immortality. Are you kidding me? Immortality, huh? Yes. Live for, so you have all the money, and you can live forever. Yes. And that is, I would love to incorporate my third wish in with that, but we'll just say immortality. Can you? Uh, can you? Oh shit! Can you wish immortality for everyone that you want? Uh, no, I would say that's a little, then you're basically one wish for each person for the immortality. So yeah, there you go. Sorry. You can't, Mr. Skittles can't live forever with you, Jonas, unless you want to use two wishes. Oh shit. Yeah. So fuck Mr. Skittles. Immortality, huh? That's, that's just me. That's what I want. My third wish kind of, kind of sums up. <laughs> my existence oh, from then on out. <laughs> Is it going to be to be able to have sex forever and never come? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> to never lose your boner if you want it. So you can just have all the sex money and forever that you want. Jeez, Jones, what kind of sociopath do you think I am? Like, I'm that kind of a deviant? <laughs> what kind of deviant do you think I am? Exactly. Uh, God, man, that's a good one. Immortality is a good one. Um, yeah, I got to live forever. That's got to happen. So uh, I mean, I guess I would have to agree with you on that. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. Like, with immortality, does your body break down or do you get old? Well, see, now that's that's the thing. Oh, my, my stipulations would be that I have to remain at, like, peak condition. So I would I would probably lose a couple years because, you know... <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting up there, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, so you'd be, be like peak physical condition. Peak, yeah, so like, I'm thinking like 18, 20 year old dynamite. But you're kind of dumb at that point compared to where you're at now. Not mentally, and plus, in my oh, mortal, you just want the body of 18. -year -old yeah, dynamite. my oh, physical okay. condition is the only thing that changes. So basically, like the vampire Lestat type of shit. I okay. live forever. So and you're I guaranteed not to be like a two million year old body like that's literally yes. feels like a scene. I want to be a small wayfish black boy. <laughs> small <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough, I that, guess. That lives forever. 
Yeah, okay. I'll agree with you. That's a pretty good. You one. like that one? I do. All right. What's the third one, Jonas? Third wish. Boom. Here it is. You want a football team. I do too, Jonas. All right. Third wish. <laughs> there we go. That's it. How'd you know me? You know me so well. No, that's not it. Well, it's been the air game that's what else? down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for well, the boys. Well, I wish. You know what? I have all the money in the world. Yep. I, I can live to be immortal. Yep. I want a companion who lives forever with me. Well, isn't that just the sweetest thing you ever heard? <laughs> Aren't so you? me and my companion can live forever with all the money we ever want and do whatever we want for the rest of our lives. Aren't you just a tall glass That's, of... That'd be obviously the relationship will stay in good standing. It's just like... Aren't you just... A, a ride or die till there's no die. Tall glass of sweet iced tea, John. That, that would was, be awesome. Yeah, I guess, man. But uh, let's... I guess, man. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one of the caveats that comes with immortality is eventually wanting to die. And <laughs> I could imagine that when I when we as humans commit ourselves to another person for the rest of our lives, we know that there is an end to that point at some point in time. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. Most people can't stay together for... <laughs> <laughs> the short period of no, time. No, but I said that like it's, the, everything stays in good. St that's part of the what wish. What kind of companion are we talking about? A chick or yeah, Mr. Like Skittles? Like a, like a, like a, a significant other that like the relationship stays in good standing and you live no, together forever. No, yeah, we'll see. You're, Just you're, like a, you have the the perfect well, you, companion you can't, for the rest of you your life. You can't wish for that. Oh, you want the perfect companion? Like the, the person that you want to be. Yeah, like so, like you don't have to worry about oh, like so fighting you, with your wife. For the rest of eternity, you don't so have to worry you, about like you want the genie to create your perfect companion that is also immortal. Yes. Oh, well, I like that. Actually. Yeah, actually, like, that's so, not too so bad. So, like, you always, you'll always get along. You'll always like have fun. You'll always be in. You both are gonna be in peak physical shape forever. Yeah, you, but what happens when you want some strange? <laughs> you wouldn't need it. It'd be the perfect companion. Jonas, <laughs> come on, man. What? Jonas. <laughs> I, guess, I, I guess I'm a different kind of person. No, it's not about being a different kind of person. Like for the rest of eternity, forever? I'm just saying, it's like for the rest of your life and you're never going to want some strange. <laughs> Maybe she's cool with you having strange. That would be perfect for me. <laughs> That'd be perfect. So what's your third wish then? What's my third yeah, wish? Yeah, you said you said you talked about being able to die and shit. S see now, Jonas, this is gonna this is just gonna illuminate the differences between me and you. Yeah. Because mine is a little bit more maniacal than yours. Okay. And I am totally aware of the devious nature of my last oh, wish. Oh Jesus. Oh god, dude. Here he goes. <laughs> I go all like, I want someone to be with forever. That's amazing. And yeah. we have a great time together. Here and, goes you. And I'm like, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will give two of my I have two choices for my last wish Okay Either I want fucking Marvel superhero power DC Marvel superhero powers Or I want the ability To Control minds Oh wow Yeah I do or at least like well, part of the po the powers of Marvel and DC <gasps> is Jonas, controlling you're minds. right. So you want all, every superhero's power? No, not all of them. But you can't pick and choose. You got to blanket it, man. So I, you can't well, say I want to be like Iron Man and I want to be like. So I can either take all or none. Well, I mean, fucking give me all of them then. Yeah, why not? I guess. You can choose which ones to use and which ones not to. I was thinking like, do I, do I want the power to just like no thoughts? Or do I want the power to influence thoughts? And then I'm like, influence and thought sounds really good, dude. I can just do whatever I yeah, want to. Yeah, but if to. you have infinite money, you can pay people off to do whatever you want anyways. Yeah, but... They can be like, I don't want you to come and steal my house. And you go, is it enough? And they go, no. Is it enough? No. You just Jonas, is making Jonas is making a motion of giving them more money. Yeah, by just the like way. you would just keep swiping that $100 bill off the wallet. Eventually, they'll be like, have my house. Okay, and I get that. 
I do. I so re- infinite money's almost like mind control yeah, because I guess everyone I really can be need- bought at some point. All right, then fuck it, Jonas. I want I want the superpowers then. Fine. You've you've talked me out of it. <laughs> You're right, because everything has a price. I mean like Sorry, it may kids. take a lot, but if you have infinite, it doesn't matter how much it costs them. Yeah, you got a good point. I don't need to control your mind when I can just buy you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh god, he's fast and powerful, folks. Yeah, no def- one is even anywhere near him. I definitely want the superpower. I think the superpowers would be good because then I could be like a good guy billionaire. Yeah, you could like fly around, save people and shit. Hell you could be yeah, you could, die. you could be like you could be like billionaire Spider Man, and you could fucking save lives. Yeah, it'd be like Kim Jong Un is causing trouble, and I just go and pick him up and bring him back, and like, is this the man you're looking for? <laughs> right. <laughs> that would be awesome. That'd be great. Yeah, man. I'd be I'd all be... happy with my companion and my money. Oh, my God. You and this companion shit. What, dude? <laughs> Why is that stupid? I don't think it's stupid. It's adorable. It's adorable. It's fucking so sweet. It gave me cavities, though. <laughs> okay. uh. But this is who I am, man. I am, yeah, I, well. I mean, you've known me a long time. That's like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm fucking. I know. I'm a good dude, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if those things correlate necessarily. Being a sap does not make you a good dude. Oh, whatever. But and I am a good. Bit, you know me well enough to know I'm a good dude too. No, well, yeah, but they, there's no correlation. Well, right. I mean, yeah. Just because you're like a sap doesn't mean you're a good dude. Yeah. But what I meant is you. Yes. What I mean is you've known me long enough to know that I'm a sap and a good dude. Take him out of the game. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a completely different game. <laughs> it's a complete, we're on the home court. He can't be doing that shit. Dude, that'd be like fucking LeBron throwing the ball away. Yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely, uh, I don't know. I would just have like a bunch of relationships. I feel like I could marry a chick. It would be a shame to see like being immortal. It would be a shame to see everybody you know die off. Well, yeah, dude, and like, and that's why I said the companion thing because, like, say you f- say like you were like I'm immortal, and then every person you fell in love with and became like your partner, you watch them get old and die. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. Boom, bitch. Oh my god. Dude, I made his mother hurt. Like, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, I found the greatest companion I've ever found, and like, you stay fucking the mind and body of like a young virile man and then you watch them grow old not and mind die. just body but yeah I, I, I mean I feel you I really do um, that seems to be a common trope with movies that have like people who live forever is that they do see or like oh I remember this woman from 1952 she right, was right. the best you yeah know? It was a shame. I stayed with her until she passed away. And well, right, but you would also run into the problem where, like, you are a young buck and, like, your wife is 80. I'm cool with that. Yeah. I mean, but it would be like you couldn't even go do things with her because, like, you're like, I want to go play basketball. And she's like, I can't get out of bed. I'm cool with that. You're all right with that? Yeah, I think you just got a problem with having sex with 80-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> my my whole issue is would I have a thing for 80 year olds after I've been on the planet for like a thousand years and I fucked like a bunch of 80 year old women is that gonna be would like you all of a sudden have an 80 year old woman fetish <laughs> yeah. you'd have a great a, a, what, a great grandma fetish I do if I've lived for a thousand years I've had sex with some 80 year olds by that point that's true I guess I, you I know guess. and it's not a secret to everybody else at that point that I'm immortal. Yeah. That's why I wanted the mind control because I don't necessarily feel like, I feel like being found out like the government's going to try to get you. But I guess well, if people you know, like would eventually be like, wow, why did TNT Dynamite never get older? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, we're all wrinkly and gray haired and have health issues and this motherfucker is immortal. Right. Well, because you would meet Ooh. everyone about your age and then you meet them in like your 18, 20 year old age, and they'd be like, "Oh, I'm 40 now. Oh, I'm 50," and you're just like, still like running track. Yeah, and man, could you imagine the jealousy? <laughs> Some, Everyone would hate you. Somebody is, that's for sure. Yeah, dude, I hate it, me it would definitely be. That's yeah. why you need like your ride or die that's gonna stay with you because you guys are fucking kicking it, dude. All right, one caveat though What's to it? you having your ride or die. Your own, the only person that can end your immortality is another immortal. Oh shit! Highlander. Like you, like me, and you were the only two people on Earth, and like you're fucking, we're fighting to the death, and fr- like in front of everyone. 
Is that what's happening? That's, no, it's just that's Highlander. Uh, Highlander meta. Like the only person that can kill another immortal is an immortal. So, oh, well, how so, many of us are there? How many? Oh, uh, well, there's you and your companion that you decided to take. Oh, huh? dude, but if you have a perfect relationship, it's uh, your perfect companion. So yeah. why are they going to murder you? I'm not saying that she would. I'm just saying is that there's a chance. So I'm I mean, saying, like accidentally, like you're cooking steak and you fall over on the knife. Dude, that would be the worst. If she's holding it, like it, bro. you accidentally like kill your immortal soulmate and like you're just like you're left by yourself forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like you, you you leave the damn dishwasher open I mean, she trips and hit her head on the yeah, damn counter man. and next thing you know she's dead one day you come home from work and you you know you say man you know your chicken's a little dry and then your she's chicken's like, a little dry she's looking at that infinite wallet that you always keep out on the kitchen counter and she's just like this motherfucker is done but that I will just to pay off the cops. Right, you're like, is this enough to buy out of murder? And they're like, no. And you're like, just, just keep throwing money at them until it's enough to buy out of murder. How's the fucking chicken now there, Jonas? <laughs> How's your chicken now, asshole? Oh, my God. I don't know, man. That would be a nice little life. That would be a nice little life. I guess, man. All right, that was good, man. I'm glad we got that off. Oh, shit. <laughs> I felt good about that. Yeah, that was good, man. I liked it. It did It did show the uh, the, the differences between us. Yeah, it did. Because I just want to become an all-powerful god, and Jonas <laughs> wants to live happily ever after with some chick for the rest of his fucking life, even if the rest of his life is forever. That's awesome, dude. Until the heat death of the universe. Oh, why do you got to tackle low, you bitch? Yeah, man, it's a nice little life. Took his hamstring right from underneath him. Yeah, fucking ate his hamstring like a ham hock. Just a nice little life. Jonas, if you're immortal, ain't nothing little or nice about it, man. Well, if I had all the money in the world, I'd just buy an island, and it would be JonasTown.com. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing, Jonas. Is like when you said when you said perfect soulmate, and I gave you that look. I'm thinking like, if you can name this is from a movie. There's a movie that says if you can name any girl, any woman. That you would like to be with, I can tell you and guarantee you, there's a guy that is tired of being with her. For me, it used to be it used to be Halle Berry was my big thing. Jay Z stepped out on Beyonce. Who else is hot? <laughs> Who else is hot out there? People have been cheating on Taylor Swift forever. <laughs> Taylor Swift can cheat on every fucking five minutes and writes an album. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody is somebody has had sex, so much sex with Tyler, with Katy Perry. I almost said Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Someone too. Yeah, but it probably. goes both ways for women and men. I agree, and that's why I just say it's like I don't know about like the rest of your life is one thing, but forever that's a lot longer. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just think forever will get really lonely. Uh, that's yeah. why I figure a companion. But you got you got all the time in the world to you know make to walk to get to know someone to watch them die. Yeah, like you're basically like you would get with like a new partner and be like and just be like no in your head that you're gonna watch them die. What the hell do you think is gonna happen anyway? We all go away, Jonas. Life ain't final. You're, you're, there's a good chance that you are gonna watch somebody die and or vice versa. Well, yeah, everyone in your life either walks out on you or dies. That's really how it ends. Wow, man, that's a little, that's a little too fucking... It's a little even negative for me, man. <laughs> it's, I mean, that's... I mean... It's fucking more There's only shit, two ways for, for people in your life to go. You either, either watch them die, they watch you die, or, or they die. walk out. Yeah, man, I guess. I wow. mean, that's the sad truth of the situation, but yeah. it's life, dude. Yeah, Jonas, way to fucking bring the mood down. <laughs> right at the end of the video. Where does that happen? Nice <laughs> hypotheticals. Like, I want a partner forever in life with money, and I'm all like, everyone's fucking gone. <laughs> yeah. No, man, it's not It's not that cut and dry, but, I mean, it kind of is. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's we've all had people die. So that's why I wouldn't have an issue with it if I was immortal. You wouldn't have more issue with what? With other people dying, man. It's natural. It's life. Yeah, that's true. Just not for me. You would get like God. you would get like numb to it though. Eventually. Like you would be like, oh man, I found this new great partner, and you're just like, oh, and that's when you turn evil, Jonas. You start lashing out at human, at human race and take over the world. Jonas, this is the great. We gotta find this lamp. Well, literally, 
Lord you Jess. could just be the king of all because everyone could just come to you and be like, TNT, God Almighty, please don't strike me down. I need money for a new house. And you're just like, whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah. I would fuck the economy. Up. And then, like, yeah, dude. It, you, you would just make TNT bucks. All right, Jonas. I'm out of here. Let's all right. Go. All right. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Lie to your friends. Tell them we're worth watching. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite's already gone, we are. Oh.